lot of ideas that people have as far as uh, instruments and some people will take it they'll soak it in the tub for quite a while hey there's nothing wrong with that if you want to do it go for it put it in there 20 minutes and then come clean it that's fine I personally I haven't seen a huge benefit from that also other people will when they're done they'll set the parts out to air dry and you can do that but you may just want to lightly tell them off relubricate and put it back in the case I'm always anxious to get back playing so I usually skip that part but that's personal preference with the trombone bell and for the trumpets your next step is to grab your instrument notice the valves have already already been removed we put them over on that piece of paper and number them now on a trombone and a trumpet, basically any type of tuning slide you can pull out, you're going to do so. You grab it and very gently setting it down on the bottom so it doesn't get dented. We pull out basically everything you can find or yank on that's going to come out. You have a third slide, a second slide, a main tuning slide, usually all this stuff. And then we're going to set this in the water here for a little bit. And trumpet players, here's a great a uh, little sneak thing I picked up. Make sure you pull off your bottom valve caps. Remember, our springs and our valves are already out of the horn here. But often, there's a little extra grit and grime that's built up down here in the valve cap that often doesn't get cleaned. So I leave all these guys in the water here to soak while I'm working with the main instrument. I set it down in the water. And the next step is highly scientific and challenging. You're going to stick this in basically everything you can find. And just like we did with the trombone, a few inches at a time, back and forth, back and forth. You'll notice ew, a little bit of grunge coming out of the lead pipe there. Again, that's going to come from coffee, lunch, snacks, whatever you've been ingesting is going to be living here on the horn. This is why it's really important to make sure you clean your horn every two to three weeks. So every little pipe you can, stick it in, clean it out nice and good. And the only thing you want to look out for is on the trumpet there are some very tight curves. Don't stick the snake in so far it gets stuck. You don't need to go in and pull it out the other side. You just want to get up to that curve, gently brush, and then back it back out. This is a trick that I picked up a little while ago, but you want to be judicious with it. I wouldn't do it every week. I probably even wouldn't do it maybe every two weeks, but maybe once a month. And that's taking a toothbrush with some toothpaste. Toothpaste is a mild abrasive, and that works to just kind of get a little bit of the extra grunge out there. You don't want to do this really hard, and you also want to be really careful on doing this with your plated valves. But you can actually brush your valves after you uh, clean it out with a snake or a mouthpiece brush and then hand soap. Brush your valves, and also be sure to do your valve casing. Literally just get that old toothbrush in here, brush them up and down. Nice and good. You may want to dip it in the water first. And usually I'll brush them out of the water because everything's still wet and we don't lose all the toothpaste that way, but I'll rinse it often. And you want to hit all three valves as well as your valve, uh, your internal valves that you've removed. The only trick here, the only caveat is make sure that you really rinse everything off well. At the very end, if you don't clean this off, this will mess up your valves and gum everything up and cause some trouble but it actually works wonders for really opening up your valves, freeing the instrument. And one last thing that many people forget is these bottom little valve caps. Even though we soaked them, they still have some grit in there. Take that same toothbrush and just work it around and clean them out nice and well. And then again, just like everything else, we want to rinse everything really well first in the water here and then also with clean water before you reassemble the instrument. Finally, rinse everything out really well with some very warm water. Again, not scalding hot water, but just warm water. And the last stage, clean up the bathtub. Mom and Dad will appreciate it and you'll be able to clean your horn next time. Before I re-lubricate the slides and oil my valves, sometimes I find that maybe those uh, things didn't get quite cleaned enough while I was in the tub. So I'll just put a little bit of soapy water in the sink and again take my snake and my mouthpiece brush and really clean them out well. If you have some gringe and some grime on here, use maybe a little nail brush and some soap. 
it gets really bad and it's very black, you want to pick up a product called Flitz Metal Polish, F-L-I-T-Z. And you can find it in specialty hardware stores. And it's fantastic. It not only removes any corrosion and oxidation and pitting, but it also will pr put some protectant on it. Um, it is a little, um, it's a little time consuming to apply, but you put it on and then you take a, uh, a clean cloth and you rub it off. And it takes a little while, but it's fantastic, especially if you have some tuning slides that are a little older with some grime on them. I do that maybe once a year or maybe every six months.